In this video I'm going to show you how to scribe an internal joint on a piece of skirting. Hey what's up guys it's your man JB here and in this video we're going to be looking at the best way to create an internal joint on a piece of skirting. Now generally what you could do when creating an internal joint is just put 245s on your skirting like so and if you've got a perfect square 90 degree corner then that is going to look pretty sexy. I mean that's not a bad joint at all. However when was the last time you saw a perfect 90 degree internal corner? So if your corner isn't perfect then you might end up with a bit of a gap, the actual floor to the wall might not be 90 degrees so you might have a gap at the top or the bottom like this, one might be in a little bit more than the other and it just doesn't always go that well. So the best way to get an internal joint is to scribe the skirting. Well that basically means what we want to do is take this profile and this shape and cut it onto the end of this one so we're not using a mitre joint, we're literally just pushing it up to it. And this is particularly handy if you've got a rather detailed profile skirting. Now one way to do it is to literally draw round it which is okay but as soon as you get down here you haven't got the timber against this timber so you're almost guessing where the line is. Now don't get caught with your pants down and don't get stressed because there is an easier way. The way to do it is to put a 45 degree angle on one of your pieces of skirting. So if we imagine that this piece is fixed against the wall and we want to take this bit and slide it up to it. The way to scribe it is to actually cut this line here right where the angle starts on the timber. This piece of skirting has been primed so you can see a big difference between the face and where it's been cut which will make it a little bit easier to cut but what you could do is just mark it with a pencil and that will just give you a slightly clearer line of where it needs to be cut. Now what you don't want to do is cut this at 90 degrees, you want to slightly back cut it so you almost create a bit of a point here and that will allow for any discrepancy in the angle of the internal corner. So that first part I've used a panel saw and next I'm going to use a coping saw and the great thing about a coping saw is it allows you to move the saw and change direction quite easy. So there's our cut, what we'll do is just run a little bit of paper over it just to clean it up slightly. Now 
and here you can see how I've put a bit of an angle on it and again that will just allow it to move backwards and forwards very slightly. Also by putting a slight angle on it just makes it a little bit easier to sand it down a bit if you need to make any minor adjustments. And here we go. Wow look at that, absolutely perfect. As I've said already if it wasn't quite a perfect 90 degree, any small amount of movement doesn't make a huge difference on the join itself. So there you go guys, that is how you create your perfect internal mitre joint. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe, that would be absolutely fantastic. Nice one guys, I'm out of here, I'll see you on the next video.